so this chart shows some of the KPI features that we're using. I won't go through all of these, but it just shows things that we're monitoring or data that we're capturing. And then our actions on the right show we can set triggers in Acceletus so that we get notifications if we reach a certain threshold. Um, so if you look at like an example on the bottom for HFM, we're tracking the task and data audit logs to make sure that those don't get too big. This slide shows an example of those triggers or the emails that we get from Acceletus. So myself and some of the other admins will get an email um, saying that the audit log reached a certain threshold. We need to go in and archive it. And then we run through our process that does that. So it's really nice that we get these during the close or whenever. Uh, I, I mean, it's good and bad because you can get nervous when you start seeing them. But you can be proactive about doing what you need to do to minimize any impact on the users. There, there is an opportunity that we haven't discussed, though, is, is that you could take that trigger and then tie it to an automation job to actually do the archiving. So it depends on your internal process. But some of the value is a trigger could kick off an automation job that could remediate the problem. And it just depends on what your internal processes are and whether you want to handle it manually or want the system to do some of it for you. But a lot of these things can be connected uh, you know, pretty easily depending on, on how far you want to go. This is one of our real life examples of how we use the health checks to troubleshoot an issue. Uh, we, had an a we had several HFM users reporting slowness and uh, poor response time. So a lot of times you'll get an email, hey, HFM is slow. It's like, OK, can you give me a little more detail? Um, but when we start seeing multiple users saying that, OK, we need to go check something out, we run right to Acceletus. Um, the as an administrator, I try logging into HFM. I can get in, but I can't navigate to system messages. So even I'm having issues, I have access to everything. Um, so we ran the health checks, and the results of that are up here, showing that the user simulation feature generated a failure. And it also showed lengthy response times, not, not what we would normally see. Um, the activity analysis feature showed that HFM was having issues with a specific SQL table uh, related to HFM. So then from there, we go to our DBA. And the DBA found deadlocks on the HFM data audit table. So as an admin, when I couldn't get into the system messages or the audit logs, that's why there was a deadlock on the table. And then I wasn't able to even get back into the application. So then we performed a uh, restart. We stopped services and rebooted, and everything came back OK. Um, so we logged an SR with Oracle on the specifics of the uh, deadlock on the table. And we were able to you know, provide them with all the logs and everything that they needed. Uh, and so it just shows how Excel has helped us get right to the root of the area, and how Oracle, we, we were able to quickly provide Oracle with what they needed so they could research it.